Taurus, gang, gang, just quickly coming through to uh, talk to you about the ritual for uh, May 11th. I'm sure you've seen my promo already talking about me and Blashina 69 Tarot uh, doing a ritual on the new moon. It's going to be via Zoom, okay? It's $50. You get love and money, all right? Um, we've been uh, letting y'all know about it for all of April, but we decided that we're going to throw up a special incentive for my Taurus gang because it's y'all birthday month, all right? So this part of the ritual is just for Taurus my Taurus gang gang. So what we're going to do is if you're a Taurus, okay, I want you to comment your birthday down below. All right. And I want you to head over to Blood Sheena 69 Tarot if you have not booked your ritual spot. Okay. Why? Because we are going to choose one male and one female winner out of the Taurian gang people that sign up for the ritual and they will win um, respectively each one birthday candle made by the incomparable Blashina 69 Tarot. Okay. And then you will also, in addition to that, um, uh, the male will get my, uh, Adonis King, um, oil, which is supposed to help you bring in the ladies. Okay. And, um, my, uh, goddess oil for, uh, the female winner, Okay, which helps you. It's like uh, the Jezebel oil, but bringing in a higher quality of um, suitors. All right. So y'all want to get on this. Okay. So like I said, head over to Blashina 69 Tarot. Okay. And book your slot now. All right. We are going to announce the winners on May 5th. You don't have to have your candle on your day just within the season. So hurry up. If you haven't joined the ritual, you want to do that like ASAP, okay? So that's um, all I'm going to say about that. And happy birthday, gang, gang. Good luck. Taurus, what's good, what's good, what's good? Lovely soul empress here coming to you to do your mid-May love reading. Happy birthday, gang, gang. All right. Uh, I'm with y'all on this one. My birthday is May 7th. It is quickly approaching. All the May babies, happy, happy birthday. Okay. So just a couple quick announcements. Um, Not sure if I'm going to be doing What's Good Wednesdays uh, this week. I got a lot going on. Um or I might do it Friday instead on my actual birthday. So I haven't decided yet. I'll keep you guys posted. And as well, as far as the ritual with me and Blashina69, uh, that's going to close on May 5th. Okay, so if you haven't gotten your slot, you know, get in there like swimwear. You know what I'm saying? Um, get ready because it's going to be a big one. All right. So uh, as far as your pre-shuffle. You got the three of swords in reverse. So I'm feeling like my Taurus gang is letting go of old wounds. I, I really like it. You got the king of pentacles. Okay, so I feel like you are stepping into your king of pentacles energy. I also feel like for my uh, feminines, there is someone who is uh, stepping up to the king, king of pentacles plate. Okay trying to level up with you. You also got the eight of cups. So I feel like you're walking away from anything that does not serve you. I also feel like you're walking away from the past. Honestly, you also got the five of pentacles. There's going to be some people that are going to be feeling like they're left out in the cold or, um, you know, they, they're on, they're unwilling to recognize that maybe they left you out in the cold and that's why you're walking away. You got uh, also the mask is on. Uh, I didn't feel, okay, so first off, I felt two energies. There's going to be some people who are jealous around you, okay? It's empress season and you are the empress, okay? And uh, I feel like 2.22 on the clock. I feel like people are going to be uh, jealous of how much you are loved, okay? Now, also, you got, um, in, in regards to that mask is on, I feel like there's a surprise that somebody's hiding from you. Could be a birthday surprise. Now, you got uncharted territory, un, um, 
new levels of unconditional love. So I feel like somebody's going to be expressing themselves to you. You also got the divine feminine, which I mean, that could have went without saying. We know what it is. Uh, you got separation. And I feel like this separation already occurred. For some of you, you might be going through that now. But the majority of you, that already had happened, okay? And then express your love. So somebody, like I said, is going to be expressing themselves, okay? Now you got, you know what to do. And it says, in all the battles of heart over mind, go with your heart. Because truly, it's a lot easier for your mind to catch up with your heart than for your heart to catch up with your mind. A whole lot. Not that I don't love your mind. Signed, the universe. And then you also got out of the motivation manifesto, there is a nobility to those who do not let neediness or desperation compromise who they are. I feel like the empress knows her worth, okay? Uh, I'm feeling like some of you have um, made a decision and you're sticking to it, all right? So, um, I'm going to do a seven-card spread. Okay, and then uh, we're going to see what else Spirit wants us to know. So, Spirit, what's the mutual energy between my Taurus gang and their person? Okay, can you show me how Taurus sees the situation, Spirit? Thank you. And can you show me what Taurus feels is the blockage, Spirit? Thank you, and can you show me how Taurus would like to handle the situation? Thank you. Can you show me what Taurus's person feels is the blockage, Spirit? What's Taurus's person feel is the blockage? What does Taurus's person feel is the blockage, Spirit? Okay, can you, uh, I should say the situation, what's the blockage, Spirit? Okay, I'm going to reverse them because I see what Spirit did answer my questions in reverse. Spirit, um, what? how would Taurus's person like to handle the situation? Okay, I like it a lot. At the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Cups. So somebody... Um, Somebody feels like they want to express their love. Could be you, could be somebody else. I feel like uh, just looking at that card, somebody's come to some realizations, okay? So let's get right into it. The mutual energy is the two of swords, something that you both can't see. Spirit, why? Yep, knew that was coming. Okay, so you got um, the Two of Swords, right? And this is talking about something you can't see. I feel like this just happened recently, right? Could have been going on for a long time, like like feeling rudderless, like, you know, a boat that doesn't have uh, a direction, right? And it was because um, maybe both of you couldn't see the direction, but clarity has come because it was clarified by the Two of Swords in reverse, meaning there's no more um mystery in the situation and then what comes out the queen of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn this is you all right um i feel like both of you recognize now what it is i feel like uh queen of pentacles is the quintessential spouse okay i feel like now they recognize who you were maybe they didn't uh also that you might have felt like you were unclear about this person's motives towards you I feel like that's crystal clear now. Okay, I also feel like they see you as a queen of wands. There could be a queen of wands who's jealous, um, Aries, Leo, and Sag, but fuck her or him, right? Because I feel like your person sees you like this queen of wands, okay? Page of wands. They have a message or a gift or something for you, and it's going to be pretty big, all right? Eight of pentacles. I feel like this person is uh, working hard to uh, clear that some type of energy out. Nine of swords. They're even anxious about it. Now, you could be anxious about this too. Maybe you feel like something is about to happen and you don't know because the high priestess is here. That's Pisces and Taurus, right? But there's a new beginning afoot with this fool card. Okay, yeah, there goes the emperor, all right? And um, the star card. All right, listen, I'm not going to go too far into the bottom of the deck. We'll be here forever because I feel heavy, strong 
energies of blessings coming. Now, you got the page of swords as to how you see the situation, Spirit Why? So I feel like you felt blocked in the past. Five of Pentacles, which came out in the pre-shuffle, that Page of Swords is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could have blocked the Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, but you blocked something. You were focused on something. I feel like it was your coins. Uh, I feel like whoever you blocked has taken notice. Uh, not only that you blocked them, but um, that something is different about you and it's this four swords which came out crossed kind of reversed i feel like you uh, th with that three of swords that came out the pre-shuffle in reverse you're like over it you're not gonna be in mourning anymore whatever it was uh you have released this i feel also like you're feeling energetic this is your season and here's the full card new journeys could be an areas of importance but you now are coming out new now you have the King of Pentacles here as the blockage, all right? The King of Pentacles did come up in your pre-shuffle spirit. Why is this King of Pentacles here in the blockage? Yeah, this is what I thought. Okay, so the King of Pentacles is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you, but I also feel like a lot of yous are dealing with a King of Pentacles, right? And you might have felt like this person wasn't making a clear choice with this um, lover's card. Carter Gemini could be dealing with a Gemini. But this person has done some soul searching. Look at them looking in the mirror. I feel like you're unaware of this. Nine of Pentacles. Um, I feel like the reason why you see it in the blockage is because up until this point, you might have felt like you were unsure if this person was really choosing you for the right reasons or like they could have pulled back their energy or you could be in separation nine of pentacles like it feels like a foot in single and a foot not single right and that was the blockage but you have the ten of cups here as to how you'd like to handle the situation spirit why thank you yeah ten of cups Okay, um, did I say the Ten of Pentacles? But Ten of Cups, happy life, happy wife, happy family. You love this person a lot. I think you know that they love you too. But like I said, there was something about a choice, okay? Maybe this person was single for a long time. But here's the Hierophant. That's your card, Taurus. I feel like uh, commitment is um, at the heart of the matter. Some of you could be married to this person, but... I feel like you're keeping hope and faith. I feel like there is the commitment train is pulling up a six of, so, of uh, swords going to combo waters. I also feel like this is your deepest wish with this uh, nine of cups. I feel like you wanted somebody to get a new perspective with this hangman. All right. Or else you would call final judgment on the situation. King of cups. Somebody could be wearing a mask. You did have that. Somebody you might have felt like uh, reading this person's emotions was extremely difficult. I feel like you're the seven of pentacles right now. You're more than halfway to where you want to be. Now, your person has the ten of pentacles as the first card out. Spirit, why? Okay. All right. So uh, the Ten of Pentacles, this is, uh, you know, community, family, generational wealth and legacy. Some of you are married to this person. Some of you between this Ten of Cups and this uh, Ten of Pentacles. Um, it's like you guys know uh, there's an energy here of like what it, you could build together. You got the devil card here. This is the card of Capricorn. Uh, I feel like this person is extremely drawn to you. But they feel a little bound. Um, it's like they're afraid of um, it not going right. Because why? Because of the Two of Cups. They're like, this is my soulmate. I want to build, but I'm scared as hell. Because what if it doesn't work out? But they're going for it. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. You could be dealing with a King of Wands. 
hermit, all right? They're so focused on you. And at the same time, you're focused on something else with this hermit card. I feel it's just your spirituality. And it could be because in the past, this person was the Knight of Wands. They could have been coming in and out, okay? And if you didn't know this person, what it is is that they were doing that in the past, but something has been illuminated to them. Temperance card, okay? Divine timing has come in. King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This person's cutting away shit. Right, they've made some uh, very important decisions with this Eight of Wands and they're taking action on it. There goes the chariot, they're coming in. Yep, for the Six of Wands, the victory. All right, so now you have the hangman in uh, the blockage spirit. Why is this hangman here for uh, Taurus's person as the blockage? Yeah. So uh, the hangman, uh, they felt like maybe you needed a new perspective, and that could be true, but I'll tell you what else, they needed one too, all right? And I think that that's being illuminated to them, okay? Knight of Swords, they're going to tell you that. They're going to tell you, um, that's Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, they're going to tell you, you know what, um, I was looking at this situation all wrong, because here's the death card, card of Scorpio, death and transformation, this new perspective that they got with this hangman uh, has made them go through some uh, inner soul searching. And just to be clear, Spirit is talking about that King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay, uh, I feel like um, if you pulled back your energy from this person, it would be a tower. Now, they could have pulled back their energy from you in the past and it caused the Three of Swords because there was a lot of burdens. But I feel like this new perspective has made them see things in a different way. Now they're experiencing a tower because they caused a heartbreak and a lot of burdens. But it was what they really wanted was you. Okay? They just couldn't see that. Now you have the Six of Wands spirit. Why is this? So they want the victory with you. But you're the queen of swords right now, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Okay, look how serious. All right, uh, that is resting bitch face, okay? Um, <laughs> I feel like you are staring right at them. Like, listen, the shit that went down before is not going down now. I have my walls up. I know my worth. And don't fuck with me if you don't want the smoke, right? Now... That's what they, they know that you're like that. Like they got to come with their A game, but they're gonna, cause they want the sun. Okay. That's the card of Leo. They want to be happy. Look, here's the Knight of Cups. They're making a love offer, right? Because they know this is their last shot. King of Cups. I feel like they're trying not to tell you, um, what they have planned. Now there could be also a, um, Cancer Pisces and Scorpio. Like there could be two people. Um, for some of you, that's the case, but for a lot of you, your person is showing you the King of Cups, like they're wearing a mask, but really the King of Pentacles, okay? Like, in other words, they don't want you to know, uh, whatever they've got up their sleeve or whatever they're trying to, um, you know, cause I feel like they're trying to do something to show you that whatever happened in the past is done, okay? Now, the Ace of Cups, Spirit, why is this Ace of Cups the overall energy? Can you show me? Right. So the Ace of Cups, true love, okay? That's what they want to give you. They might have fucked up earlier or you don't know this. You didn't know them before. They fucked up another relationship and that taught them some valuable lessons. But here's the Ten of Cups. They're like, I'm all in. I'm all in. Right? And then here's the Seven of Wands. They're protecting this... Um, this relationship or this uh, secret, right? I feel like it's a positive secret, but either way, uh, they see you as above the competition. This is what they want. They are building a uh, a wall of protection around it. Here's the chariot. They're coming in. Here's the six of wands, the victory, right? King of swords again. Now, mind you, I took some more cards out and they're still at the bottom again. King of swords, Gemini, leaving Aquarius. They're cutting away things. Um, they want to um, message you or travel to you, right? Um, divine um, timing is coming into effect, okay? So, let's get into another deck. 
let's see if there's anything else we need to know about this situation spirit can you show me if there's anything else we need to know about this situation spirit thank you spirit so now um if you can like this for me i would uh greatly appreciate it um this person was in denial not facing the truth irrational reasoning okay they were afraid they were running from their uh fears but look come together Re uh, reconciliation spiritual union soul contract so for those of you that don't know this person your soulmate is on its way like any day all right for those of you who, you who know this person they're on their way like any day some of you they've already come back all right but they haven't um revealed something to you verge about to reveal confess okay i feel like uh this done card it says completion lessons learned like they're like i learned my lesson okay um and i feel like that is what is happening okay um let's see what they would say spirit can you show me what taurus's person would say to them if they had a chance Thank you. My pride and my ego got the best of me. You are one of a kind. And the way we met was unreal. Okay, so um, I feel like there is... Um, there is a... Like, I'm telling you, this person didn't take the initial meeting as serious. Okay, I feel like you recognized them immediately. They didn't recognize you. Um, but now they know, right? Okay. Now let's see what the soul's journey says. Spirit, can you show me what my Taurus gang needs to work on? And can you show me, did you see the lighting changed? Uh, can you show me what um, Taurus's person needs to work on, Spirit? Okay. Thank you. So you got patience. I feel like you had got grown tired of the situation, which is why you pulled your energy back. I accept that everything happens divine order. It's hard for Taurus to do that. Okay, we are laid back, but um, we also like to take control. And sometimes giving the rein over even to spirit can be a challenge. Now, your person got blamed. They could have been looking for someone to blame for the um for the the uncomfortableness or whatever happened between yous, okay? But I feel like they started looking at some personal responsibility because it says I accept responsibility for my well-being. And they also got acceptance. So now they're um accepting the blame for what happened. I am learning to accept that the, the things that I cannot change, okay? I feel like in the past, they could have been looking or trying to rationalize some of their decisions on how you had a hand in it. Not saying you didn't, but, um, you know, somebody's actions is a reflection of them. How you respond to their actions is a reflection of you. And I feel like they were trying to muddy that line, okay? Now, you, uh, we're going to go into love and romance. Spirit, can you show me most likely outcome anything else spirit thank you yeah let me get a deck to clarify now you got deception and past life relationship spirit why is this deception here Okay, anything else? Okay, so uh, this deception had to do with their insecurities about relationships, let go of negative experiences of the past. Now, this also applies to you because you had gotten expressed your love uh, the Eight of Cups of walking away of old wounds and the Five of Pentacles, like leaving that feeling behind, right? Now, also, friends came out. They could have enlisted friends to help them, 
but I feel like they are recognizing that they didn't build the friendship with you, right? I'm not saying it was completely sexual because there's other emotions in a relationship, you know, but I feel like there was something where um, they kept like girlfriend or boyfriend separated from friendship and they're realizing that that was a mistake. And then uncharted territory, new levels of unconditional love. I feel like their heart space has just cracked open and yes okay um so i feel like that's what they want to do at the bottom of the deck is fix it spirit why is this past life relationship here mm -hmm. okay so past life relationship okay it says you are uh you have known each other before okay maybe the potential to happen is here i feel like that's on um, the your energy like you're unsure but look at them come to me okay so and then change of heart see i told you that this person has had a change of heart with that um that hangman you got rewrite your love story right opportunities to reconcile love worth the wait okay so this person um they've gotten uh you know I hear, I got a new attitude, right? Um, so I feel like um, I'm hearing, turn out the lights. Uh, let's get closer. Um, so I feel like uh, somebody is about to reveal um, that their heart space has been cracked open by the Empress. Okay, so again, happy birthday, gang, gang, all right? And also, don't forget, okay, the um, the ritual closes on May 5th, okay? So if you haven't gotten your slot, get in there, all right? So I just would like to say thank you to my returning subscribers for coming through and spending a little bit of time with me. And if you're a new viewer and you felt I resonated with you, please like, subscribe, and uh comment all right and hit the bell so you can be notified when i'm coming on i'm wishing y'all light and love and blessings on blessings namaste